want to see this, do you? Hell yeah! <laughs> I am not going to show you this. No, not, not the sex part, just the stuff leading up to it. Forget it, she's destroying it. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll just have to think of some other way to put the whole who came on to who thing to rest. Come on now, think! Forget it, Phoebe, okay? It's Rachel's tape and she can do whatever she wants with it. And she wants to destroy it. So, end of story. I want to see it. <laughs> what? Clearly you don't want people to see this tape. Now, I don't want people to see this tape either, but you so badly don't want people to see it that it makes me want to see it, do you see? <laughs> Are we watching the tape or not? <laughs> I don't want people to see it for your sake. Oh, I don't believe you. I think you don't want them to see you begging me. Rachel, please. Oh, a little preview. Fine. Fine. But I want the record to show that I tried to take the high road. Because in about five minutes, I'm going to be saying... <laughs> Hello. Can I get you anything? I'm so happy. <laughs> I need you to help me. Are you just talking to yourself? Oh, there I am. You're gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I screwed up so bad. I told Monica that I would stuff and send all the wedding invitations like weeks ago, and I... You didn't do it? I, I, no, I had put them in, in, in my desk at work, and I completely forgot about them until today. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, it's okay. Everybody made it to the wedding. I'm fine. <laughs> Kind of hurt in my hand, though. <laughs> I know. I cannot believe that I did this, especially after Monica just went on and on and on about it. Okay, Rachel, here are the invitations, Rachel. I'll be very careful, Rachel. Please, drinking no liquids around the invitations, Rachel. Whoa, oh, 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 Did you do it on our invitations? <laughs> Not on the ones we sent out. So, just the ones you gave back to us and we had framed? <laughs> oh, can you believe this is already happening? I mean, it seems like yesterday they just got engaged. I know. Hey, remember... Remember the night they got engaged? How, uh, you and I almost... Oh, I remember how we almost... Do you think we would have gone through with it, you know, if we hadn't gotten caught? I mean, do you think we would have done it? I mean, I... I know I wanted to. I just... I just wasn't sure if you wanted to. No, oh, I wanted to. So we... We both wanted to. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, probably worked out for the best. Yeah, sure. Okay, in about 10 seconds, you're going to see him kiss me. And in about five seconds, you're going to see why. Ross, did I ever tell you about the time that I went backpacking through Western Europe? <laughs> Ready to see some begging. <laughs> oh, you came on to Ross. <laughs> what? Now I'm so happy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You used the Europe story. That's the magic story you use when you want to have sex. <laughs> How do you know about that story? How do you know about that story? <laughs> I heard it from my friend Irene, who heard it from some guy. Some guy. No, no. She told me that his name was Ken Adams. Ken Adams! Rachel, oh, come on, talk to me, please. I can't even look at you right now. What? 
Nothing. Nothing. You just said everything was okay. What, what are they talking about? Richard, yeah, well, just get away no, from it me. It was a mistake. I made a mistake, okay? A mistake? What were you trying to put it in? Her purse? <laughs> where? Where did he put it? <laughs> Ross, you had sex with another woman. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I knew something had to be wrong because my fingernails did not grow at all yesterday. Yeah, well, I guess they had a fight and he got drunk. <gasps> you guys knew about this and you didn't tell us? He had sex and we get hit in our heads. You know what? I want you to leave. Get out of here. Just no, get out no, now. No, no, no. I want to stay. I want to talk about this. Okay. All right. How was she? Uh-oh. <laughs> What? Was she good? Don't answer that. <laughs> Come on, Ross. You said you wanted to talk about it. Let's talk about it. How was she? She was awful. She was Horrible. not good. Not good. Nothing not good. compared to you. <laughs> she, she was different. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> good, different. Nobody likes change. <laughs> Should we do something? Yeah, never cheat on Rachel. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I, w I was disgusted with myself, and then this morning I was so I was I was so upset, and then I got your message, and I was so happy, and all I wanted was to get her out of my apartment as fast as whoa, possible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. What time did your little friend leave? <laughs> <laughs> She was there. She was still there. She was in there when I was in there. Oh, yes! <laughs> Listen, little, oh, hey, hey. The important thing is, she meant she meant nothing to me. And yet, she was worth jeopardizing our relationship. <laughs> Look, I didn't think there was a relationship to jeopardize. I thought we were broken up. We were on a break. That, for all I knew, could last forever. That, to me, is a break up. You think you're gonna get out of this on a technicality? Look, I'm not trying to get out of anything, okay? I thought our relationship was dead. Well, you sure had a hell of a time at the wake. You know what? I don't think we should listen to this anymore. What? What are you doing? I can't go out there. Why not? I'm hungry. <laughs> because they'll know we've been listening. God! And to have to hear about it from... Gunther! Come on, like I wanted him to tell you, I ran all over the place trying to make sure that didn't happen. Oh, that is so sweet. I think I'm falling in love with you all over again. You know what? I think we can go out there. I mean, they have more important things to worry about. Yeah, we'll be fine. Look, Rachel, I wanted to tell you. I thought I should. I, I did, and then Chandler and Joey convinced me not to. <laughs> Wax the door shut. We're never leaving it. Hi, it's Phoebe. Listen, someone's gonna have to take my 9 o'clock with Mr. Rehack because it's like 9.15 now and I'm not there. Don't you realize none of this would ever have happened if I didn't think at that same moment you were having sex with Mark? All right. Let's say I had slept with Mark. Would you have been able to forgive me? Yes, I would. You'd be okay if you knew that Mark had kissed me and been naked with me and made love to me. Yes. If you knew that our hot, sweaty, writhing bodies were... Okay, okay, yeah, it, I would have been devastated, but I would still want to be with you because it's, I mean, it's you. Aww. Aww.